Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Clarion Mods. Today I'll be going through the subwoofer enclosure build. For this system we'll be installing four Clarion WF2520D slim subwoofers. These 10 inch subs are only 2 and 3 quarter inches deep and require less than half a cubic foot of airspace when installed. Pair that with their rating of 300 watts RMS and you have some very stout and musical subs. The enclosure for our standard cab Silverado will be horseshoed behind the seats. Now you wouldn't think there's a lot of space, but at 62 inches wide, it works out to around 2.65 cubic feet of airspace for the WF10s. The bottom, back and top panels will first be cut, glued and nailed together. The end panels of the enclosure came next. Now these were cut and copied five times. Because of the span of the box, the use of four subwoofers and 1100 watts of power, three internal braces were added. Each brace was flush trimmed and rounded over to allow for air movement. Now also because of its size, the front panel of the enclosure was made out of 3 quarter inch MDF. The four holes for the subwoofers and two ports were aligned and then cut out using a circle chip. The two ports were made from 5 inch ABS drainage piping. With the shallow depth of the enclosure, the ports have to make a 90 degree turn. Personally, I like to do this in two cuts for smoother transition. The ABS piping was glued together and the joints epoxied after. The ports were then epoxied into the front face and sanded smooth. Now we wanted to add some style to the enclosure in keeping with the overall look of this truck. We decided to split the front face into two panels. The lower trim panel was cut to fit and rounded over. The upper has two trim panels, the first being a piece of clear acrylic that will add an edge-lit style line to the whole width of the enclosure. Once the trim panel has been made, the front face can be attached with glue and brads. The last piece of the puzzle is the 3 quarter inch subwoofer trim rings. They're designed to fit snugly into the front face trim panels and will get painted later on. The bottom panel goes on first and will get wrapped in black leather. The subs and trim rings go on next with gloss black. The lit plexi panel next and finally the top trim panel which will get wrapped in grey leather later. So that's all I have for today, it's time for me to get back to work. But on the next episode of Clarion Mods, I'll be getting started on the new center console, which is also the amp rack for our two XC7 series amplifiers. Thank you for coming back and watching, I'll see you then.